Hey guys, welcome back. This is my new series called Pika. It's my new podcast series. And today, uh, some special guests are some of my friends and my teachers. And yeah, uh, today's subject, we are going to be talking about the recent outbreak of the um, pandemic and what it's causing schools and government facilities to What's, what's basically happening to them and how are people dealing with this worldwide so let's roll the intro so because it's the recent outbreak covid 19 schools and government facilities have been shutting down and leaving kids wondering what's next and School is beginning to close, students locked away, quarantined, feeling the long days dragged by, wondering how learning and communicating with their friends will work. With the decision of canceling schools or e-learning, uh, schools has chosen and gone with e-learning or online school. Today, I interview some of my friends, and classmates, and teachers from the Parkway District and ask them how they feel about the new way of learning. All right, so let's start off. Right now, I am joined by Tavana, Tia, uh, Sarah, and Samantha. And the question is, what is your opinion about e-learning? I feel like I have more time, but I do miss the social aspect of going to school. So it's been okay so far. Did you ever expect the school going online? Honestly, no. It wasn't something I really expected. How come? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It just seems kind of crazy to think that something this widespread would actually happen. Um, so far, I feel like e-learning is going pretty well. I mean, most of the teachers abide by the 90 minutes a week, except for a few teachers who make it 90 minutes a day. So that definitely makes it a bit harder on me. But besides that, I kind of like it. All right, so I would like to highlight what you just men- mentioned, which is uh, your teacher is following a 90-minute uh, schedule for you guys. Mm-hmm. What are the classes that aren't really following that 90-minute and probably extend it by, I don't know, like... Well, I would have to say Honors Bio is one because our teacher assigns a lot of assignments, which typically take over an hour every day, and maybe math, but math is only because I'm slow at it. But otherwise, it's all the teachers abide by it. You do mention that it's honor bi- biology. Do you think that it has a bit of a reasoning why it's a little bit longer than the 90 minutes length? I wouldn't really say that it's because it's honors bio. It's a bit more of the teacher because she does have one regular class and she does still assign a lot of homework to the regular class. So I don't really think that makes much of a difference. I believe that in this time, during this pandemic, it is necessary uh, for us to continue learning uh, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to finish the school year and probably would have to go back to school during the summer. However, I do not think that the way our e-learning is set up will help me personally be successful. Or, like, I, I just have not been able to learn as much as I would be able to at school, if that makes sense. I am not exactly happy with e-learning. I do appreciate all the work that the teachers are doing, but I don't think we receive enough credit for the amount of work we do. After hearing about these opinions that people have, I'm really curious about what kind of questions they had when e-learning was put in place and what were some of their difficulties transitioning from e-learning? real school to um, online school besides zoom i was wondering how the schedule would look like would it be the same types of assignments how would certain classes look such as photography and pe because with photography not everybody has a good camera or even like a phone camera mm-hmm. and with pe i just was wondering if we'd send in videos if you would write stuff because I was just wondering if that'd be more like online PE or something for summer school. Um, I was wondering how they were going to do it. Like, were we going to do it at our own pace, which is what happened, through Google Meets, which were usually reserved for help, or something else entirely? Um, 
just like what are we going to do for the rest of the year like are we going to do tests how are classes going to work like um stuff like that and then for the classes that it's more in stuff like for PE for example like what are we going to do and how are we going to do that so it's just like hoping the teachers like provide enough resources and some of most of them do actually and it actually it's um really nice of how they did it but it's just for some people it can be hard to organize hard to understand what's going on for me um i think the hardest thing is just finding a way to stay connected to my students and keep the the classroom community together so um you know in my class i like to try to have us have like the first like five ten minutes be uh like warm up you're talking to the people in your group whatever um and it's been kind of difficult to mirror that experience online. Um, I've, I've tried to do that with some different online things, but I feel like it's been a lot harder to keep everybody connected and everybody together. Following up with the statement of the difficulty to keep everyone together, I'm wondering what are the ways that others have been staying on track? So we have like shared Google calendars for all the teachers um, in the classes that we're doing. But I'm also, I'm like, just kind of like writing lists on my own on these like pieces of paper. Like I have one for every class that I teach. I build just a list of what I need to do. Um, but yeah, I just make lists. I write down all my things in a notebook and make it pretty. Yes. Well, I have this big office whiteboard I write everything down on. And how has that been working out? Um, it's been really good for me. I personally get most of things done. The only time I'm missing something is if I don't write it on the board. So. Well, I've been making a little assignment list in my notes on my phone. So it's like on Monday, I'll do this work. On Tuesday, I'll do this work and so on. And then I'll usually have like a finish date, but I try to finish all work by Saturday night so that I'll have at least one day free. And since we're on the topic of new habits, I wonder if there are new things that people have got to into or has lost. Um, I've definitely lost some good studying habits and like a structured schedule because with school, I was like, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do this. Um, when I get home, I'm going to, you know, do my homework. But now I'm being more laid back and like, oh, I don't feel motivated to do my schoolwork when I know I need to. And then I'll cut it off, which is not beneficial for me. So far. Um, I, I guess a new habit that I learned was if I ever go on walks outside or whatever, um, that I have to stay away from people, which is really weird because it's like a lot of people are in, our, in, or in the neighborhood outside. Mm -hmm. And you see them all the time, but you can't actually talk to them. You can, like, wave from across the street, but mm -hmm. you can't be close to them at all. I really miss the social interaction with just the teachers, with my friends, and, you know, just being able to hug or, you know, just being close to people who I love and care about. During this pandemic, obviously, we can't always keep ourselves focused, so I've asked some of my friends what have they been doing to entertain themselves. So, let's see what their responses are. Um, well, I've been playing Terraria, and my favorite game is Slime Rancher, so I've been playing those. Stuff like uh, Roblox or Minecraft. Just like silly little kid games, because, I don't know, it's more enjoyable, I guess, for us. Overall, what we've heard today is life moving from school to online school was different for everyone. For some, really easy, while others question about how their futures will go because of this. And a few laid back at home watching Netflix. Stay tuned for next time on Pika, where we talk about the peak of the story.